got a fish on, baby. Oh, yeah. I think that's a bow fin. We gotta keep this one hooked. There's my net. Nice bow fin. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to net it. My net is stuck under my box. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Backwater X YouTube channel. We're going out looking for bowfin tonight. We're gonna to be fishing the swamps. On the north end of this lake here in South Alabama, where the river feeds into the lake, there's a bunch of little streams and estuaries and it's real swampy and, and awesome. And there's a bunch of bowfin in here. I catch them a lot. So hopefully we can get on a big one tonight. Last time I came out, if you saw the last video, caught some fish, didn't get the bowfin I was looking for. So today is round two. We're gonna go out and seal the deal today. I got cub bait, I got worms, gonna be, Doing a little bit of brim fishing, looking for some sunfish and bluegills while I'm looking for bowfin. We're gonna get out there and get the lines in the water and I will see you then. All right, I like it. First bait of the day, nice little brim head. Put that right over there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. No way we're just gonna free, kind of free line this one, let it float around, or drift around down there. I'm just gonna vertical jig with this right underneath the kayak. Oh, it's got a little bite on the brim pole here. Got him. It's like the tiniest old channel cat I've ever seen. I think this cat would actually be a pretty good little flathead bait, but. Nice. Thought it's gonna be a little channel cat. <laughs> A little bigger than the last one. Little fiddler. It's back on the cut bait again here. I'm kind of thinking that might just be a small catfish that's too small to get it in its mouth. Because it's biting kind of weird. But both in do that sometimes too. They do that little nibble, kind of little little bite. Hit it and then back off and then hit it again type of thing. There he goes. He wants it. Got him. Oh. I don't know what that was, but it was large. It was acting small when it was biting, but it was not small. But it dropped the bait. I think it might have it again. Let's see if he comes back for it. This is crazy. I've got like fish with commitment issues on both of my lines here. That one's hooked. That one's hooked. Oh, crap. Oh, God. He's running in. He's running in. It's a bowfin. Not a very big one, but it's a bowfin. Oh, he came off right at the boat. Darn. This other one, though. All right, let's see if we can seal the deal this time. Nope. Dang. Oh, guys, we were so close to having that bowfin just now. All right, let's go. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get this next one. I'm 
might end up running through my cut bay quicker than I thought I was going to tonight. So I'm thinking I might do a slight little reposition here and just go right over into this little channel. Cause I think it, I can kind of stake off against the weed line over there and be in a little deeper water and maybe have a little better luck catching some brim. him on for a second. That was nice. There we go. That feels like a brim. Oh, why did they keep slipping off? What is going on? Alright, we're getting dangerously low on cut bait. We're gonna have to find some of these brim here. Clutch. A little tiny catfish. Might be time to freshen up that original cut bait. The thing's been soaking quite a while, it's probably lost a lot of its flavor. Bowfin guys, we got him. Oh my god, these things are insane. We got our bowfin. All right. I just lost him. I just lost him. He tore through the bottom of my net. Oh no, he's still hooked. He's still hooked. He's still hooked. Finger is in a lot of danger right now. Guys, what in the world? That was nuts. I thought I lost this fish. <laughs> he was barely hooked. There is our bow fin. Finally. It took a lot longer to catch this guy than I thought it was going to when I said I was going to come out here and catch a bow fin. 
but we got it done and that was dramatic i don't know what i guess he flopped out of my net i thought he tore through the bottom of it i think he's i have no idea what happened net's a mess lines all tangled up but we got our bow fin look at the mouth on this thing release himself holy crap these things are insane these things are insane he's gonna get out of this boat crazy crazy fish <laughs> to have in the kayak with you look at that guy something looks like he's been fighting he's all tore up backwater bow fin in the boat got it landed barely can't get this guy back in the water that was super exciting. Sure, that's turned into a beautiful evening. Ooh, I just wiped my mouth with my hand and now my face smells like bowfin. <clears throat> my wife is not gonna appreciate that when she tries to kiss me when I get home. bird drama going on over there I'm soaking wet covered in slime the boats all slimy everything's in disarray you got my phone all wet well it's probably about time to start my journey back anyways because I don't have a light Seal the deal on the bow fin tonight and we made it happen got a really nice one super aggressive fish fun fight dramatic situation dude slipped through my net somehow it's like the more i think about it the weirder it is because my line was ran through the net right so like my line was ran through the bottom of my net as though the fish had gone through the net but there was no hole in the net so it was like a Houdini bowfin that bowfin like defied the laws of physics but either way we got him in the kayak and he got it he got me all slimy and wet and got my phone all slimy and caused a bunch of ruckus and mayhem and it was a lot of fun hopefully uh hopefully we got some good footage we'll see here when we get home but it's time to sign out guys as always if you need help with website design logo design marketing video marketing YouTube channel management. That's what we do. So you can find an email in the description below where you can hit me up if you need help with any of that. And until next time, fish hard.